Okay. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. Well, I tried to do the live, and obviously I'm lacking information that I'm going to need to do it properly. So my apologize, I apologize to whoever it was, <laughs> and probably it was Jay Stone, trying to view the video. And um, I'll just have to learn some other things before I can go live. Or maybe somebody can help me do it so I can um, actually go live. Excuse me, go live and have video chat and I can see your chatting and we can <laughs> commune back and forth in real time. But for now, we are back here. Um, recording this video. Now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in this world. God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to continue in the Complete Apocrypha. We are in this book, Second Esdras, and we are in Chapter 5. This is an apocalyptic book. So it's going to be telling us of things that are going to occur in the future. Now this is Esdras, the prophet, the priest, and he is speaking with an angel. And the angel is sort of like the intercom for God because he's saying what God is wanting to say to Esdras. And Esdras is speaking to the angel so the angel is like a mediator between Esdras and God. Because when, when Esdras is speaking, he says, My Lord, which means he's talking to the God in heaven. Now it says, Nevertheless, as concerning the signs, behold, the days will come that they which dwell upon the earth will be taken with great amazement, and the way of truth will be hidden, and the land will be barren of faith. But iniquity will be increased above that which you now see, or that you have heard long ago. And the land that you see now to have rule will be waste and untrodden, and men will see it desolate. But if the Most High grant you to live, you will see that which is after the third kingdom to be troubled. And the sun will suddenly shine out in the night, and the moon in the day. And blood will drop out of wood, and the stone will give his voice, and the peoples will be troubled, and their goings will be changed, and he will rule, whom those who dwell upon the earth look not for, and the fowls will take their flight away together. And the Sodomite sea will cast out fish, and make a noise in the night, which many have not known. But all will hear the voice thereof. There will be chaos also in many places, and the fire will be often sent out. And the wild beasts will change their places, and women will bring out monsters. And salt waters will be found in the sweet, and all friends will destroy one another. Then will wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into its chamber. And it will be sought of many, and will not be found. Now, remember in Daniel, it says that people will seek um, to find knowledge, but they won't find it. And there will be a famine in the end times. One will be for bread, but the second one will be for the word of God. And this is what it's telling us. And it will be sought of many, and will not be found. And unrighteousness and inconsistency will be multiplied upon earth. One land will also ask another and say, Is righteousness, is a man that does righteousness gone through you? And it will say, No. And it will come to pass at that time that men will hope, but will not obtain. They will labor, but their ways will not prosper. To show you such signs as I, I have leave. And if you will pray again, 
and weep as now and fast seven days, you will hear yet greater things than these. Then I awaked, and an extreme trembling went through my body, and my mind was troubled, so that it fainted, so that the angel that was come to talk with me held me, comforted me, and set me upon my feet. And in the second night it came to pass that Thaltiel, the captain of the people, came to me, saying, Where have you been, and why is your countenance sad? Or do you not know that Israel is committed to you in the land of their captivity? See, Ezra is the priest. Well, Israel is in captivity in this, so this gentleman has come seeking Ezra, saying, Why have you abandoned us? And he says, Get up then and eat some bread, and forsake us not, as the shepherd that leaves in the hands of cruel wolves. Don't abandon us. Then I said to him, Go your ways from me, and come not near me for seven days, and then will you come to me. And he heard what I said and went from me. And so I fasted seven days, mourning and weeping, like as Uriel the angel commanded me. And after seven days so it was, that the thoughts of my heart were very grievous to me again, and my soul recovered the spirit of understanding. And I began to speak words before the Most High again, and said, O Lord, that bear rule, of all the woods of the earth, and of all the trees thereof, you have chosen you one vine, and of all the lands of the world, you have chosen you one country, and of all the flowers of the world, you have chosen you one lily, and of all the depths of the sea, you have filled you one river, and of all built cities, you have hallowed Zion to yourself, and of all the fowls that are created, you have named you one dove, and of all the cattle that you made, you have provided you one sheep. And among all the multitudes of people, you have gotten you one people. And to this people, whom you loved, you gave a law that is approved of all. And now, O Lord, why have you given this one people over to many, and have dishonored the one root above others, and have scattered your only one among many? And they did as excuse me, and they which did gainsay your promises have trodden them down that believed your covenants. If you so much hate your people, they should be punished with your own hands. Now when I have spoken these words, the angel that came to me the night before was sent to me and said to me, Hear me, and I will instruct you. Listen to me, and I will tell you more. And I said, Speak, my Lord. Continuing in verse 8, There will be chaos also in many places, and the fire will be often sent out, and the wild beasts will change their places, and women will bring out monsters, and salt waters will be found in the sweet, and all friends will destroy one another. Then will wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into its chambers, and it will be sought of many, and will not be found, and unrighteousness and inconsistency will be multiplied upon earth. One land also will say, will ask another, and say, Is righteousness, is a man that does righteousness gone through you? And it will say, No. And it will come to pass. There's not going to be any righteous people found. And it will come to pass at that time that men will hope but will not obtain. They will labor but their ways will not prosper. To show you such signs I have leave or he has a authority to tell. And if you will pray again and weep as now, and fast seven days, you will hear yet greater things than these. Then I awaked, and an extreme trembling went through my body, and my mind was troubled, so that it fainted. So the angel that was 
come to talk with me, held me, comforted me, and set me up upon my feet. And in the second night it came to pass that Fertiel, the captain of the people, came to me, saying, Where have you been? Why is your continent sad? Or do you not know that Israel is committed to you in the land of their captivity? Get up then and eat some bread and forsake us not as the shepherd that leaves in the hands of cruel wolves. He's saying that the people need him, that he's the priest there of the Israelites and he's disappeared and they want them, want, excuse me, and want him to come back. Excuse me. Then I said to him, go your ways from me. And come not near me for seven days, and then will you come to me. And he heard what I said and went from me. And as I fasted seven days, mourning and weeping, like as Uriel the angel commanded me, and after seven days so it was that the thoughts of my heart were very grievous to me, and my soul recovered the spirit of understanding, and I began to speak words before the Most High again and said, O Lord, that bear rule of all the woods of the earth and of all the trees thereof, you have chosen you one vine. And of all the lands of the world, you have chosen you one country. And of all the flowers of the world, you have chosen you one lily. And of all the depths of the sea, you have filled you one river. And of all built cities, you have hallowed Zion to yourself. And of all the fowls that are created, you have named you one dove. And of all the cattle that you are made, have provided you one sheep. And among all the multitudes of people, you have gotten you one people. And to this people, whom you loved, you gave a law that is approved of all. And now, O Lord, why have you given this people over to many, and have dishonored the root above others? and have scattered you only among many. And they did gainsay your promises, have trodden them down, that believed your covenants. If you do so much hate your people, why should be pun they should be punished with your own hands? Now when I have spoken these words, the angel that came to me the night before was sent to me, and said to me, Hear me, and I will instruct you. Listen to me, and I will tell you more. And I said, Speak, my Lord. Then he said to me, you are, you are sore troubled in mind for Israel's sake. You do know that people better than he that made them. And I said, No, Lord, but in great grief I have spoken, for my reins torment me every hour, and his reins are his heart while I labor to comprehend the way of the Most High, and to seek out part of his judgment. And he said to me, You cannot. And I said, Why, Lord, or for what purpose was I born? Or why was not my mother's womb then my grave, that I might not have seen the travail of Jacob and the wearisome toll of the stock of Israel? And he said to me, Number me those who are not yet come. Gather, to, gather me together the drops that are scattered abroad, and make me the flowers green again that are withered. Open me the chambers that are closed, and bring me out of the winds that in them are shut up, or show me the image of a voice, and then I will declare to you the travail that you asked to see. And I will say, and I said, O Lord, that bear rule, who may know these things, that he has not, that he, that he that has not his dwelling with men. As for me, I am unwise. How may I then speak of these things whereof you asked me? Then said he to me, Just as you can do none of these things that I have I've spoken of, even so can you not find out my judgment, or even the end of love that I have promised to my people. 
And I said, But behold, O Lord, you have made the promise to those who be in the end, and what will they do that have been before us, or we that be now, or those who will come after us? And he said to me, I will liken my judgment to a ring, like as there is no slackness of those who are last, even so there is no swiftness of those who, who be first. So I answered and said, Could you not make them to be at once that have been made, and, and that be now, and that are still to come, that you might show your judgment sooner? Then answered he me and said, the creature may not hasten above the Creator, neither may the world hold them at once that will be created therein. And I said, How have you said to your servant that you will surely make alive at once the creature that you have created? If therefore they will be alive at once, and the creature will sustain them, even so it might now also support them, be to be present at once and he said to me ask the womb of a woman and say to her if you can bring out ten children why do you do it several times pray instead to bring out ten children at once and I said she can't but must do it by distance of time then said he to me even so have I given the womb of the earth to those that shall be sown therein in several times. For like as a young child may not bring out, neither she that is grown old bring out any more. Even so have I disposed the world which I, I created. He's saying that, that the people are going to procreate but that a woman can only bring one child at a time. And so it, it isn't possible with the women that are on the earth to bring forth all at once all that will be on the earth throughout all of time. That, that's just not how it's going to work. That's not how it works. So he's telling him that it's impossible for all the people that are yet to be created to appear all at once because it is the people are coming through the birth from a woman and that women can't bring forth 10 children at a time to hurry up and get them all here at once that it's just going to take time and we need to be patient so even so i have given the womb of the earth to those that will be sown herein in several times. For like as a young child may not bring out, so a young girl isn't able to uh, give birth, neither she that is old bring out any more. So once you're old and you're past your time of childbearing, you can't bring forth any more children. So there's only so many that are in the childbearing years. Even so, I have disposed the world which I created. This is how he designed it. And I asked and said, Seeing you have now showed me the way, I will speak before you. Is our mother, of whom you have told me, still young, or does she now draw near to age? He answered me and said, Ask a woman that bears children, and she will tell you. Say to her, why are not they whom you have now brought out like those that were before, but less of stature, meaning they're not as big. The people are not as big today as they were in the time of Moses or in the time of Adam and Eve, but that throughout the generations, the stature of man has decreased. So we're just not as big as we were before, and neither are we as healthy. And she, she also will answer you. They that be born in the strength of youth are of one fashion, 
and those who are born in the time of age when the womb fails or otherwise. Consider therefore you also how that you are less of stature than those that were before you, and so are those who come after you less than you, as born of the creature which now begins to be old and is past the strength of youth. Then I said, Lord, I implore you, if I have found favor in your sight, show your servant by whom you visit your creature. And as always, <laughs> I love you.